to data stage session. In this video, we'll be discussing about uh, transformer stage string function. So we are in the process of learning tra transformer stage string function. So here the first uh, the function is in, in this uh, video, we'll be discussing about STR function. So why we use STR function? So to repeat a string, uh, the, in, in, a, in a specific number of times. Okay. So let's take an example. So I have a string like this, and I have input uh, one, two, three, four, five. Like so, in my target, I need to get like this. If it is one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So that many times the string will be get uh, repeated. Okay, so that is one function we're we're going to discuss now. So let's take an example of sample data. So here I have given one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so how to apply this string function? Okay, so here to, to apply string function, we have to mention the input string and how many number of times that has to be repeated. Okay, so let's uh, go to the exercise. So this is the input I have uh, showed you already. This is the in input. So this is a job that I have designed. So the same file, the input file I have called here. Okay. So now let's double click on transformer stage. And here the str function. <coughs> okay, so that we can uh, get it from here. Go to functions. String str come a little bit down, and here you can see the function str. Okay, so here uh, it is asking the input string. So, what is my input string that you have to check? So, input string is data that is coming. So, how many times that I want to repeat? So, this is the one, the same thing only I am considering here the data, okay? So the first column I have called as it is from the source and the second column I have used str function, str data, okay? So now click on okay. So this I have different target file name. Yeah, so now click on okay. Now save compiler on this job. On this job. So now let's see the target output. So this is the latest one, okay, one not nine. Okay, so we can see the same output in uh, sequential file stage output also, output sequential file stage. Okay, so we can see the output here, one, one, two, 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 Three, 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 like that. It will get uh, keep on repetitive of the how many number of times. Okay, so uh, this is the common uh, interview questions they will ask. So they will give the numbers like this. I want the output like this. What is the function that you use? Okay, so sometimes you won't get uh, thought like so how I can uh, get this uh, solution. So it simply is str is a function. Str, uh, str brackets open, input string you have to provide, and then number of times that you have to repeat that string. So here, uh, since it is input is uh, numbers, so the number of times repeated I have given also, given also the string, input string. So that is the reason we're able to get this output, okay? Now let's move on to the next function. So let's close this job. So the next function is, S codes 
D codes. Okay, so what is meant by S codes and D codes? Uh, for example, if you want to pass it codes, okay, so in the output text file. So whenever we receive the data from the input and if you want to pass a single codes and double codes, these are the two functions that we will use in uh, data stage transformer uh, string functions. Okay, so now let's do a small exercise on this assignment. So here, uh, let's consider the input. <coughs> what is my input data? Codes here, this is the file. So here I have taken data stage. Okay, so here I have taken data stage. So that is my string input string. How this uh, S codes and T codes will work, now we will see. Now double click on uh, transformer stage. So here you can see, just you have to provide the S string and uh, D string functions from uh, string string function just now i have shown you right in uh, earlier exercise the same way you can uh, you can call those functions and give the input string that's it okay so here this is the input the same i have called in the file sequential file state so this is the one okay so now here click on okay define the target now click on okay Okay, so in the target, I will delete these uh, two files. So this is for STL, okay, so we have received the output, right? Output has been generated. Now let's run this job. Run. So here you can see here, data, test S code, test underscore uh, D code, test underscore S code, test underscore D code, uh, D codes are the two columns that I have defined. So S code, single code, you can see the single codes from the input string and D codes, double string, double, uh, double codes on the string, on the given input string, okay? Right, so now let's move on to another uh, function so that is works with uh, space and strip white base so in uh, in the in data stage transformation uh, series uh, we have gone through compact white space so if the string contains more number of spaces then what happens is basically it will uh, helps us to uh, give single space compact space but strip white space is totally different. It will remove entire all the spaces. Okay. And what is the purpose of this function space? The purpose of space function is to give a space the number of times you need a gap between one column to another, another column. Normally, uh, in real time, uh, we have fixed width file that will be generated and sending to the downstream application. So there should be one space is required between first column to the second column. So what we will do is we will, uh, we will filler, we'll use filler underscore some data, some columns, so not this axis. One second, let me open this. Okay, so filler, and in that filler, uh, we'll be using space, space one. Space one means one, one byte space we'll get. So now go to transformation string function space. Come a little bit down. You'll, you'll see the space. So just it is asking the length. Okay. So here it is asking the length. So length I am giving one. If you give one, one it will uh, display in the output. So this is strip white function. So it will remove all the unnecessary spaces uh, in between the sentence also. Okay. In between the input link, input data. Now click on OK. Define the target. So this is it. Yeah. So we have defined the target file also. Now click on OK. Now save, compile. Uh, 
Tanta cevap. So here the input is, as I told you, data stage is the best ETL tool. So here you can see the gaps here. One, two, two gaps. For each word, there is two gaps. Okay. So here after that, uh, filler data. So here we have given one space, right? One space. If you give two, two, two spaces will come. If you give 10, 10 spaces will come and strip white space. So here it, it will remove the spaces in the uh, given string in, in the middle. Okay, so that is the purpose of strip white space. Okay, so this is the vote space and strip uh, white space function. Now let's move on to the next function, next function, string functions. So basically string functions are used to re remove the unnecessary space between starting and ending in the middle of the uh, given string. So to remove the space. So you can go through this IBM uh, upper guide. Okay, so here you can see the string functions. It remove the spaces between leading and trailing space. And we have the various option of uh, string functions. Uh, string B, back, backspace removal, trim a friend, friend space. Okay, so this string function is mainly used to remove the unnecessary spaces in the uh, given string. Okay. So this is about uh, stream functions. Okay. So with this, we have completed uh, learning transformation string functions. Okay. So here, this is the playlist I will show you in uh, my YouTube channel. So go to playlist here you can see the transformation functions so when you click on this now uh, you will get all the transformation series functions so step by step you will uh, learn all the uh, recordings okay so with this we have completed uh, transformation uh, string function okay so please go through this video and if you have any questions you can uh, come back to me so this is the video that i have uploaded four days back okay yeah, right. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. So if you're looking for any data stage training, IB information on laser training, on job support, offline, either offline or online, you can reach out to me given uh, WhatsApp number. Thank you. Have a great day.